Any questions for Chief? Um, he's also participating in another meeting right now for public safety. So that's why I'm up here first. So once he um, speaks and does his, then we'll go. I want to hear everyone's thoughts as we start going through what we're up for. So, so yeah, I you also have. Yeah, good. thank you for letting me go first. I have a Sac County Chiefs meeting that we're hosting tonight. So um, I just wanted to clarify a couple of things. I know those are the questions on side by side, its use, whether we need it, that sort of thing. When I said that we haven't used those ETVs in four years, that's true, but not because we haven't needed them. Um, the reason this started three years ago is at a forest fire, and one of my firefighters grabbed his trailer and his UTV, and we used it at the fire. And I said, there's got to be a better way to do this. I don't want to use our private privately owned equipment to do emergency response, liability, insurances, people get hurt, things get broken, who's responsible, that sort of stuff. So that's why three years ago we started doing this project. The grants didn't go well, we came to you folks. Um, so it hasn't been that we haven't needed to use it, it's more than what we have isn't practical to what we use it. And in fact, today, I'm not joking, we went down the four wheel trail with our pickup truck and hauled the guy out from the bed of the pickup truck and we walked behind him who fell hiking and hurt his knee. Luckily, it was on the main part of the trail out by um, Ider in uh, Bay Park. So we were able to get the pickup truck down there, but had it been off one of the side shoots, I don't know if we would have had to fall mutually. So this project hasn't, it has, it's not a new project that I'm just throwing in. It's more of something we've been trying to do for three years because the way we're operating really, call waiting for mutual aid out of Bowdoin and North Yarmouth or people using their side-by-sides. We had a guy at Pistons Farm Snowmobile accident. We used our captain side-by-side to help him out of a ravine. So I, that's where I started my thinking process for this three years ago. So I know there's been some questions, some comments, some feedbacks. I just want to be able to have an opportunity to answer those questions and concerns that the board has. I completely understand budgets. You got a lot to think about what's important, what's not important, it's a lot going on. What I will say is we don't go through this year, I'll probably have it in next year's and the year after because it's something that we have been lacking as far as the response goes. So. so I guess my question, um, so I had a bunch of questions at the last thing as Derek probably said, uh, and the reason they came up with you weren't here was because it's under capital. So Paul, okay, yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah. Get you up when you're here. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, the my, I, my biggest concern, I guess, is the frequency of use. Um, it's a large expenditure for something that doesn't get used all that much, um, at least uh, anecdotally speaking. Um, and I think uh, what you just said, you, you, you could have used it twice this year, right? Yes, yeah. three times. If I go back to the fall, we had two ATV accidents, one ATV, one snowmobile, and one hiker today. My, my biggest concern is this talks about a biking, a mountain biking course going in with wooden platforms. And I've been on some serious mountain biking accidents. Augusta had a course up behind the um, cemetery up there. Uh, I see here all the talks about the trails, trying to look ahead. This would probably, I'm not probably, this would get used more than what we currently have. I can say that for sure. There's all kinds of uses we have for it. Uh, but it's one of those low frequency, I'll, I'll agree with you, it's not used a lot, but when you need it, there's really nothing else you can, there's no alternative other than hiking a mile or half a mile or hiking equipment by hand in the woods to go fight that forest fire. It's like one of those specialized pieces of equipment, like our extrication tool. When you need it, you need it. Um, but my plan is to use it for more than just emergency response, fair, the fairgrounds, the snow rodeo that we just did, um, all that kinds of stuff. There's a lot more uses than just the responses, but yeah, that's three times in the last four months that we could have used it. My big solution is probably got auctioned off last week, so I don't really have. Uh, I, I, mean, I honestly yeah. think the solution <laughs> is talking and using the local group. This is it's a in the environment we're in. You said it earlier too, Matt. And I couldn't agree with you more. In the environment we're in, for the amount of money this is looking for, for the small amount of use. It, it is it is prime for questions why it's being done, why we need it, and particularly when we have an extremely active group. Um, you know, one of the things that I, just struck me tonight when you were talking about the grants didn't work, 
I don't recall those grants ever coming forward to this board to be talked about to be submitted. There are 100 percent funded. There was no match on our part. We changed the policy back when we were okay. here. And I think that could have changed things because oh. if you would have been having the same conversation back then, I think. Yeah, I would have had the same one three years ago. Yeah, right. Absolutely. I, so I don't plan on voting in favor of it. it it's it's a crazy amount of money. Um, we can dream up all the uses in this thing. And it wasn't you, Chris, and I get it. It's all the exact same stuff that was said to us with those four wheelers a handful of years ago. I'm, a, I'm just a clean no. So well, I understand. There's to me, but I, one of five. My point is, uh, how much was that again? I just tried to look for the we got a quote right, right from Blair's, right from the factory. Yeah. And uh, it was 37 for one and 39 for the other. That doesn't uh, include a track conversion to put tracks on it or a trailer. The trailer was six to eight. So that's where we came up with that number we came up with. And we sold um, the ATVs. So we haven't sold them yet. We, yeah. we can sell them. And what we are we want. looking at for that? The amount? Uh, I've heard five, six thousand for those two, which would probably pay for the tracks. You know, but the unit itself is 37 mm -hmm. and 39 with the two we got. And that's if we wire up our lights ourselves. But we, that's, you know, without all the pieces. It's, 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 yeah, and that comes straight that's from no the factory. Pump on it. That's, no that's the pump that it, in the yep. backboard carrier. Yep, it comes with a pump in the backboard. It doesn't have the trailer or the tracks for those two prices that I got 37 and 39. First of all, I um, respect you and I trust your judgment. However, I cannot vote for this particular item this year. And like you said, you'll come back next year and the year after because you feel it's needed. and. I trust that, but this year, I think with fuel and the inflation with everything else, we'll just have oh, to I, find monies. And that's where I'm at. And I realize it could it could save you time. It might even save a life. I don't know that. But for two or three times a year, and you know, as far as the fair, they have the ATV people up there, and mm -hmm. we could also use them out to the landfill for the town to have people ready. So that's the way I see it this year. And it's a lot of finances for me. Yeah, I don't take it personally. I know you have to look at all the things and what's the easiest that we can right. push off another year. We make do. I mean, we used the pickup truck today, but the guy in the bed of pickup um, on the tailgate. And we laid it down and we walked up behind it. I mean, we have, we're good at making do with what we have. This is just one of those things when I look at what we have for equipment, right. where are we lacking? And this is where we're lacking the most in those times when we really could have used it. I also, so that's that's kind of where we were going with it. I also so. think you'd be remiss if you didn't mention to us for our future too, so we know. Yeah, there's, there's a lot coming down the road as far as outdoor, <coughs> right. act, outdoor activity in Dawson. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. These outside um, groups, we may have to, if, if this is the case, we may have to start considering there needs to be some sort of Oh, you? Yeah. Um, some funding. I, I would have some reservations. Yeah. I, like, as far as liability, insurance, right. and some of your turret, who may, is it maintained properly? Like, if yeah. someone blows a flat going up a hill and rolls it. And, no, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 saying, no, I'm saying these four, the, the bicycle groups. And, oh, oh, oh like those want to keep yeah. attracting people from all over yeah. the coast area. Sorry, yeah, mid coast somewhere someone's going to be chipping in. I know they're and they're making the trails themselves and doing a lot of things. They they help pay for the fencing. They're doing stuff right, but if it gets so much larger that we need, it helps justify another expensive piece of equipment. We need to consider, and that might be a great avenue. Talk have those talks with them when they're planning this. Yeah, because it, it's got to be needed at some point. Someone's going to fall off a horse. Someone's going to you know. Crash a bike pretty hard. It's gonna happen. Um, we've been lucky. We've managed so far, but that's where I was going with it. I really didn't have time to explain that in this meeting, the thought process and the future and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to make sure I had that time. Thank you. Sorry. I just have one question. Yeah. You said <clears throat> this is the type of purchase that might attract grants in the future or potentially. I mean, I don't prefer the cost. There are some other grants I can try. 
Stephen King Foundation is one of them. And I don't think it's a match for that, but I don't know how they go in price. I know the Firehouse one we tried three times and we weren't successful with that. I know PD is going to use the grant to try to get a different grant through them. Um, I mean, there's a few out there without a match, but. Are you yeah, solely looking great. for no match? No, no. If you came and talked to us and said, hey, we need 10%, oh, it'd that's be a whole easy. different conversation. Oh, absolutely. But the, I mean, grants are, grants are great when you can get them, but they're also very competitive. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to make sure we weren't. Oh, no, i would come to you and ask if I found one that I think I could use for sure. Yeah. And you had to pay 25%, I'd still come and ask it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. In terms of fire response, um, have you coordinated, or do you guys coordinate with the Forest Service at all? So, yeah, we do, if we need them. Okay. Yeah. So I know they maintain equipment all over the place. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, she actually stopped by my office last week and we talked with them. Cool. Yeah, they do, I mean, forest fires, we do use them a lot. Um, but yeah. It's not ideal I get that stuff done because it's in the end and until such time as we get that capacity done, that's yeah. certainly not. I mean, we get Bowden, it's the closest one. They have one. I mean, this decision doesn't change what we've been offering to this point. We've been making right. We make yes. We've been we, making this is we're not going backwards in any way by not doing this. No, but it's a weakness. We are yep, but it's, a, it's you know something that I've identified that we need improvement on. Yep, and that's that's why I brought it up. So and you also want eight people per ship. That one eight people per ship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you had the eight, right? We talked about that one time. Eight for shipping would be awesome if you had the runs with that for you. Almost. <laughs> Any other questions? No, thanks. All right. Perfect. Thanks. I got to run next door. So thanks, thank you. I appreciate it. Have fun at your meeting. Yeah. So, my thought just as I've always done, I'd like to go around and just get a feel for everybody. You know what? I think we've all probably gone through, look page by page, listen to presentations. There's a tremendous amount of, I feel, I feel it that it's there. Um, there's no, there's no people knocking down the door by any means and calling, but we know the scenario. I know the scenario. We all know the scenario out there with um, added costs on homes and families. And um, last night it was, you know, I've come out of the school board stuff before frustrated the way they handle things and how they go about it. But I, I certainly came out of there with seeing their wish list. I've never seen building principals come in with a ask of $1.1 million. It's usually been up to 175, 200. Hearing the county's looking for more money. Hearing we have, I've, I've always just worried about Thompson. And I don't know if that's possible this time. To me, I, I think we're some very scary times for people between fuel, um, food costs, all of it. We, we know that all of it. Um, you know, before this stuff even hit, there was one of the White House uh, groups that put out a, uh, had done, I think it was in January, New England was seeing an average household was $377 more a month in uh, foods and, and fuels. And I've had that on my phone for a couple of weeks now and things have ramped up fast. So that's, that's my feel. I feel there's, and I know there's not a lot in here, but there's stuff we've got to get creative with. And there will, there will be some small, I, I will, You've got to find something somewhere. That's that's my take. I'm really worried on the outside pressures. Well, it's also when we have one dollars. Mm -hmm. um, that's my sentiment too. It isn't just uh, my neighbor. She had her. They have four kids, and she had her oil bill for day. It was thousand fifty dollars. And she said she can't do this, that she might as well stay home, not use a car, and not work anymore, was what her thinking, and just not drive anywhere. And she's a very, has a high anxiety anyway, but <clears throat> a lot of people that were marginal to begin with is going to tip them over the edge. And I think as a board, we have to supply 
and do the things we need to do for this community, but we have to be very conscious of the people out there. And I think there's any room for any toning down, we should. I found a few things I'm questioning. It doesn't mean we should cut it. Um, so. If you could most know my thoughts. Um, I mean, what I was trying to get at last night at the school board was whether or not we could possibly identify ways in which we can lower some of those outside pressures, the ones that we don't have direct control over. Um, I guess that remains to be seen where that goes. Uh, but I am uh, of the same <coughs> mind here. Um, the cost of living right now is atrocious. Um, so I'm saying it's not going to get better at some point in the future, but not now. And, uh, we still have to heat the house. So I told my daughter this, morning, this afternoon, she was throwing a tantrum with the door open. You know, it's $5. <laughs> the way she's going to get my dog a gallon. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I think if we can find creative solutions in here, um, like you said, though, I mean, there really isn't a lot of that. No, there no, isn't. It's a good budget, and there's a couple of things I question. I don't know when we get to it, I'll say it. But. So it's Ruth and I have to really drill down with the county on Friday. We'll be yep. here all day. Um, we get lunch. Oh, usually that's expensive now. I know. <laughs> she cut that. It's expensive budget. to drive there. <laughs> we could do on Intel. We could do it on Zoom. Yeah. But it's more if we want sandwiches, we can. <laughs> In that meeting last week, the days of saying we call out, what we told them to do after you say we're hiring. I didn't hear. I didn't think so. But that would come in the principal <clears throat> requests. Because all, all, and it's what drives, and I'll say it now, and I think the new superintendent gets his seat warm. Are we need to have a conversation with him on what these budget presentations or transparency? Are. Because the fact that we go in and just see an MOE, right? And next week, the true budget comes out is a complete waste of all the select board that's time what I was thinking last in the night. area because that's the, the FTEs are in next week's budget so they weren't prepared to give that to us that's in that 1.1 1 .1 million so that's I, I was completely shocked at the answer the non-answer they gave regarding the council for the kids yeah i got a non-answer unacceptable yeah i thought every i don't know is anyone got an answer i will say that around the table well, I, I don't think any point. answers were given the silence told me oh i mean no it's just like it's not gonna work mm -hmm. you know you can't expect kids you know Everyone to go in there, it's going to be, you know, father's knows best and they're in their Sunday best every day. Yeah, that's not how things work now. Not now, society, no. Everything else. Like trauma. <clears throat> we need to do a better job at addressing it quickly, not, you know, having to call and find out what towns in the you know, Yeah. It's, it's the so. kids. One thing I think is uh, lacking there, too. We worry about the, the, the mm. staff because they've been exposed. It's been very hard on them. They haven't been able to teach the way they want. The children psychologically have been going through a lot of emotional stuff, like we said. And there's more than just COVID. It's all this war talk, it's everything. It's still, the kids absorb that, and whether it's in school or outside of school. So I do think we have to have things in place. But I think the parents are a big concern also because they had to adjust. They have to pay for all this. How are they going to pay for daycare and gas? How are they going to pay for? So it, it's a three, it's not just two. That's the way I see it. And I had to say that. <laughs> yeah, no, so I think we do need to, that, that FTE thing is super big, yeah. I think. Yeah, the one we'll question of timing in your presentation or something, yeah. it's like, you know. Yeah. Get half an answer. I I didn't hear much conversation about the fund balance um, last. Yeah, August. that was all smoke and mirrors too. That whole chart they gave us, yeah. like it tells me nothing. The reason why I asked is because uh, last August I was sent an email by Mark Hanna to tell me that three hundred fifty thousand dollars, which went a week to last night. Right. I wonder if she's going to do that to reduce the assessments for each of the towns around like 50. So I think our portion was a little 200. Um, in 
and that's when uh, we found out after we finished the tax commitment, knowing that, okay, this will go back into the general fund this next year coming up. Um, so later on in the evening, after she talked about that, I went back to the general fund just for a little bit. Uh, I asked her a question following the meeting to ask the $1.2 million potentially for ass and the buses. Is anybody looking at using the general fund to pay for that, whatever that amount may be? Uh, she alluded that the general fund was over 3%, probably closer to 4%. Now, I've also heard that they don't, the state kind of frowns upon oh, districts and schools. I think it's restricted, not frowned. Carrying over 3%. Yeah. So I wish there was a little bit more forthcoming on how much that 1% may be over and above, or whatever was over the 3%. Maybe giving the elected officials a, a little bit better idea of the money that's sitting in that general fund in this 1.2 plus million dollar ask is actually going to be approved. Um, but we don't know. Yeah, the 350 sounds like sir too supplemental but we had this morning. Uh, since it became in late and was used for adjustments after the fact last spring, right? For the flat six small, that's new mm -hmm. revenue share and they really kicked it up. But but the comment was in the email that Mark Hunter had sent. 350 is for reducing the assessments for the towns. Mm -hmm. There was uh, monies going to two different uh, capital reserve accounts. That was the field where I asked about the replacement of the turf field. They put 125 in there. Okay. And the remainder was going to the funds. A comment that I heard uh, before Mark left was that some of that could have been, not sure, save for negotiations. <laughs> But we don't have answers. Right. They used to have a huge unfunded liability for future aviation. So I don't know if they cleared it up or not. I haven't seen the financials in a while. That could ask them for some of the financials too. That would make a difference. I have to read all the financials to see what's on there. And it should say it, if it should be a footnote saying if they still had it. It was like $20 million. So it was a huge number. Oh. I think so. I, I have to look at it. I, it. But it was like because you had all the people with so much, so much sick time, and then you had the vacation gap too because they can carry it over. So, I don't know, it's just, you know, maybe that's not the right number, but anyway, I just know it was a material piece of their balance balance sheet. So, well, we know ours with just forty-seven fifty employees was a massive number. Yeah, until we started getting tapped. I can imagine two hundred and thirty. See, their problem is the district breaks up and comes to light. You know, basically deal with it then. <laughs> so, optionally, the last two have no problem on their hands. <laughs> We're going to have some sleepless nights if people start paying attention. All right, on to ours. Yeah. So, what I usually do, if anyone doesn't have any complaints, and I think we'll flip through pretty quick. So I start at page one and we just go. Where's Walt? In this? <laughs> <laughs> it's an insurance benefit. <laughs> Anyone have anything? No. Nope. Sure. Oh, there, keep up. Okay. Page two, anyone? Did you see that? Portland City Council wants to raise six thousand a year to seventeen thousand dollars a year. Oh, whoa! All right, well, I got a, <laughs> I got a request then. <laughs> People's Republic of Thompson asks for. <laughs> yes, Chairman. Yeah. Holy cow! Nope. Anything goes in Portland right now. Especially after this. Money, year. money, money. Well, 
that said, has the other information you can charge, you know, yeah. the merits for that. Right? <laughs> All right, we're good on students, officers, finance. I re looked at this one. I'm like, oh, there's no one. No. <laughs> we're good. Central services. Um, we have some changes here, but I don't know is anything stuck in I don't have any marks that stuck in my head. No. Oh, did you have any updates on that lease versus purchase for the copy? Um we are looking at it right now. Um, I don't think it will affect this budget. Okay. Uh, by minimal or anything. Okay. It would be the cost of the equipment. But we, we talked about that, and we, you know, we can find a way to make that happen. But we need to do a bit more uh, investigating. The only question I have is advertising, and that's because you're putting it all into one from the other. So the advertising, uh, what we did is uh, we took out the full page ad in the crier, mm -hmm. which added to that. Uh, all of our advertising is now going to be in that line for the town. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. So that's the big increase there. Okay. When we get to it, uh, say, okay, that's good. We've okay. consolidated the advertising. Yeah. Uh, such as uh, the town meeting. Pencils, yeah. The warrant, that's within the elections department. So we just separated those two. That's where all advertising comes from, those two. Areas. Is it all elections? Uh, that is, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, anyone on page five? Page five. I have a question. If Ty was leaving, will the new person come in at the same rate? So, well, I'll, I'll back up here. There's only one answer there. <laughs> we'll back up. Maybe not. But it could have a family plan. <clears throat> uh, I'd rather bank on that and do a payroll adjustment line mm -hmm. uh, just so we're not, you know, encouraging. Yeah, they can have family, but I mean, pay wise. Pay wise is going to be the same as it is now. As Tyler? We just hired uh, Amanda to take Tyler's position. Yesterday. Amanda, who? Uh, she was the person that was the assistant class uh, tax assistant clerk position. Uh, the new hire. Yeah. Uh, she's worked out really well. We're extremely happy with her. Uh, she's talked to Linda and, and several times and getting it passed on from Tyler as we speak. So then we have to do we have to hire another person? So we're, we posted this afternoon to replace the assistant tax clerk position. And that's at any lower rate than we have? It'll be the same rate that Amanda came from, and Amanda just came in at the same rate Tyler was at. So there's no change. The only potential change if the person comes in and has a family, that would be about a $13,000 swing. But we have that unfunded liability. Uh, I'd rather use that for this just to keep, keep that so we can pick up for it as opposed to raising $13,000 in a budget. Okay, that makes sense. If she was just brought on, she'd still be a lower end. Yes. Okay, got it. Yeah, I would have brought it to your attention. But yeah. Well, I guess I'm not grasping because what do you mean? Does Tyler's at step one? Is that what you're saying? Both are ranch level. And this is where I hate, and this this is the a, a prime example of where I hate midstream mid-contract that we must make upgrades. We made this change because we knew the employee we had. And the work we received for that employee. And now the very next person, without ever proving to the level of the former employee, poof, right here, without being negotiated. And this is a, we're stuck now, right? Because we've changed the cycle. But dang it, I, I, think I hate even this stuff, change of industry. Unlike, unlike most municipalities, our tax and clerk office are combined to find someone that would cover essentially a mix of both those positions, not in total, but a mix is, is difficult to, to find. Um, so, to bring somebody on as a deputy clerk 
in general with personal experience. Amanda, since uh, the fall, has gained experience just working the front desk handling clerk transactions. It's not to the, I'm sorry, I get it. She came in in the fall. She, she worked hard, not doubting her, but it wasn't to the level of the person that we decided to change the world for to give a higher rate. But we're stuck now because we're in a we're in a rate. We were negotiating with the union in the middle of no contract. Here we are. The, the, the one thing that we do have, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to debate, but just to get a little bit more clarity, is we don't have uh, any positions where we can take somebody on our, you know, as an onward and groom a good on the job training. We've had that kind of a feeder system. We basically have a clerk and a deputy clerk. The <laughs> deputy clerk is essentially kind of a, a position that's hard to fill, it has a lot of demands. More so than just the assistant tax person at the county. They're, they're going to serve on elections. They're going to be here late nights and, and do some other things. And frankly, the responsibility is greater than right. just being behind there. So I don't think it was a mistake to, to find a person like that because if you look at the wages in the contract, they're, they're, they're pretty much average with the market. I say we're in it, but that's always been, what's always been is not necessarily always the best. But any town you go to, a town clerk goes to, a deputy town clerk goes to elections. It does all the things you need. And most of them do cross train into tax, except maybe Brunswick or Portland or Cumberland. But most towns are size that's cross training it. That they do, they will cross over. Um, but I'm not questioning you. I'm not questioning because here we are, and like you said, we're in the middle of a contract, and if she's worthy of it. But we did boost Tyler up because he was such a good employee, and he had so much potential. And the feedback on Tyler and the public is absolutely fantastic. It so, is, but I've always believed this too. I never personally. Yeah. Like to raise wages based on a person. Yeah. I, I believe you raise it on the position because a person will always have to. I mean, you're asking for legal action at some point. Right. That case. Someone will say that's not appropriate. Right. We're, so we're raising these people, good. just like this very next one. We're raising people because they get job offers somewhere else. That's, that's the truth. Well, that goes with some Right. Yeah. I get it. But the other one, does, yeah. It's, I'm done. it's good. It is. So, a man, just to get back to the new person, she is going to be deputy clerk and also cross train and has cross train on taxes. Yes, yeah, she's been behind the. Right, I know where she is. Yeah, yeah. What she's going to be learning now is the, the clerk office. <laughs> You know, one of the things like we talked about codes and, and the assessor, there's not many people out there pursuing careers as clerk, and the applicants are few and far between. We're not getting as many as we thought we had in the past. In, in past, actually, there wasn't that many when I did some hiring. There wasn't people breaking down the doors to get in as clerk, and uh, a lot of times, what happens? You hear them say, "There's nowhere to go." You know, they're at a standstill, that's where they'll be because in the organization, where can a clerk go unless they're really good and they go to school and they train for assistant something. So I, that's what I've heard a lot. And most clerks that are clerks now really like being clerks. And, uh, but the new one, newcomers, they just, just part of it is they hate the elections, to be very honest with you. And they are awful, and your accountability to the state and to everything is just difficult. So, and I feel for them. I think I got out just in time, and it was bad when I got out, but now it's just awful. People, people are terrible on elections, and they the clerk gets a lot in front of it, and she's the one, or he has to be the one that testifies if something goes wrong. There's a lot of pressure <coughs> there. Page six. Assessing. Yeah. Okay. 
Hey, we have Marks, PG. I have two questions there. One is $3,000 for the fairgrounds. I know it's in case, but we have that great big school and they've been obliging so far. I just think we could kind of wing it. Even though I hate to see the fairgrounds lose the money, it just for, it's just a giveaway, in my opinion. Well, the only, the only question is, is that, <clears throat> do we have right, do we have right of first refusal on that day for that, for that facility at the high school? Or can we be, be, be bumped? We, uh, school takes precedent. That's what we've been told um, on any of those days. So uh, Rose scheduled the next year all day. But the date that we want it, we could be there. For town meeting. For town meeting. I didn't say not the election days. I, I, I just election said, days, they wouldn't dare to say you can't hold an election. I'm sorry. The yeah. other thing with elections, once people get comfortable going to a certain place, it's a nice paid parking lot, nice, you confuse them when you change location. People just to get used to one, they like it, and <clears> to the <throat> back, even though they're going to the fairgrounds, it does confuse people in the trial and they don't like it. So that's one reason. The other one, wasn't there a three thousand dollar increase? Thirty three hundred. Yeah. And my opinion in that, certainly it's only mine, but um, there's a lot of things that can happen and we could put in here in case. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, which one? The money for drive-in town meeting, Dri which yeah. is under professional services, I believe. Yeah. It went up 3,300, and it, it is line, it is one yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Well, the overall line, but there, there's yeah. a driver in there, $3,300. Right. That's the crier. That's, that's the town meeting crier. That's in the advertising line. Prior to, so this is when we're, we're trying to consolidate advertising in the one spot. Um, it was in professional services the year before, and that's where you see the $3,300 difference. But the, it but the, it's the audio equipment. It's all the stuff for drive-in, I believe is under the $7,600. That's correct. For right. professional services. So there's a $3,300 value. That's correct. So what you have is you get $4,100 for coding and four machines. Yep. You get $3,300 for the outside audio tech equipment. Um, I'm going to make a motion. I'm not going to talk about it like you were, Ruth. My mind is made up. That from this budget, total of $4,300 comes out, being $1,000 for the fairground, $3,300 for the outside audio equipment. This also falls under general government which is a $4 million item. And if all these things line up that the skies turn dark and we can't get what we want, I guarantee we can find $4,300. We've, we've got it. I'm out. So that's my motion. So I second it. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't need to talk about it. I just wanted to say it. Derek, did you talk to Florida? Did you, I recall you saying you're going to be doing uh, more of an in depth uh, warrant in the prior this year versus previous year based on feedback from folks? No, that's something that's been discussed uh, in the trial commission. <clears throat> that thought maybe some explanation on that. But we were thinking about doing that the whole meeting. So after the final warrant's been approved, set up a Zoom conference or something, and if People can want to tune in. They can ask questions or get more information in advance, so they can think about it before I do that. So, Dave, you want to take forty three hundred out? Yep. I think so. I'll talk about that for the motion. So that would be the fairground. Okay. Yeah, I see where you're saying. Fairground that. 
And I'm not saying if, if we go to the fairground for anything, we pay them the same as we always have, a thousand dollars. But I don't believe we're going to do that. And if we do, this is a this is an item under general government, which is you know, four and a half million dollar for an item. Derek, thank you for being busy. We appreciate that. Yes, you are. And I appreciate it. I just think this year I'm looking for gas and oil. Yeah, I mean, there's 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 nothing wrong with planning ahead. But... So everyone who was in favor, though, the minus forty three hundred or no? Okay. Four zero. Anyone have anything on number nine? Um, did we ever get, I didn't feel confident in listening to things. Are all the payroll, insurance, and everything lined up properly with the new input? I was not confident in the answers we got. For planning? Yeah. Yes. So it's all this. <clears throat> There's no change to it at all. Um, let me send an email out tomorrow mm -hmm. and I'll just confirm. If there was a question on benefits, I just can't right. recall. Yeah, it just, whatever it is, I just want to make sure we get it right. I'm not looking at making any change, but I, I'll say yes for now. If it is a change, I'll say yeah. If it's not a family plan or is a family plan, just make the changes. I think it's the same. Sure. No one had it. Yeah. 12, well, page 10, 12, economic development. Hey, well. Yeah. Question the amount. I don't know why. <laughs> well, no, I mean, we haven't received service for this department in two years, right? The community, I don't know what they've got. Is that what you're asking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that 33,699.36 is the potential raise or adjustment? It's, um, it's an adjustment. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to have to confirm. He's got a longevity bonus. There's, like, there's a longevity in there. Just not sure. Wow. I don't know as I'm prepared to do anything with it, Ruth, but as time tracks, it's a question. We see two hundred dollars a barrel. I not want to do anything, but I I just question it. Just say that. Nobody have any idea. There's There's longevity. Longevity. Business retention, expansion, attraction. What is that food typically? Um, so for let me back up by saying everything in this department is uh, tip sheltered. One hundred percent from the interchange tip is is what we're sheltered from. It's all economic development. It's not used to go into that reserve account. Uh, the business retention, expansion, and attraction. Um, typically, there hasn't been a whole lot of money that we've been used to over the years. Um, but this past year, we spent whatever we did the expo with that. Yeah. And so uh, we're, we're making a point to use it for that event. In the event where we can attract and market for this, when when it's utilized for a while. Should budget the phone expense a lot. Just do the same thing with all more. The one with them. Bump the phone expense up and say, you know, we've got this money, go and use it. Get phone calls. Mm -hmm. Are we good on that one? Yeah. I mean, it's at, at this time. 
page 11, which is facilities. We had changes under heating fuel. I think that was on today's item went to 52,000. And then contracted services, I think that was today also went 49. That's what I was questioning. 49.5. So contracted services includes quite a few vendors and contractors that service everything from like elevators to all alarms, suppression systems, um, pest control, fertilizer, lawn care, for those sort of things that we need. It's not the majority of it is, is, is the let me get a few more for you. IT here. No, uh, IT is under central services. So all of our software is under central services. Focuses on IT. Um, also, okay, under contractor services here, it's all of our PM agreements. So that's our HVAC systems, that's our roofing PM. Um, we have our another HVAC software type PM that we do with trains. And uh, some of the fire, quite a bit of the fire station and public safety buildings uh, systems. So it's a fifteen thousand eight hundred and twenty increase, right? Mm -hmm. Now, um, the, no. the, oh, the new number. Yeah. So the new number. The new one. Now, there's just different factors in play. A lot of it's inflation, labor costs, cost of materials. Yeah. Um, some of it is an increase because we found that. Uh, there were some expenditures that were being taken from different accounts uh, within a couple of different departments, and we were able to identify those and make sure they were in the sign of the facilities. So there's offsets, offsets moved up accounts. Pardon? There are offsets moved up accounts. Uh, they made, yeah, there's a few. Um, a lot of this, this account was, uh, was handled by a uh, Former employee uh, doing facility type stuff. Mm -hmm. So we, we just want to make sure that we consolidate most of it into this one. Yeah. But I, I would say probably the majority of it has to do with the inflationary the cost of the Now, our agreements that we signed with roofing and PM, we haven't had a year yet, so that didn't work out. It's all of the other services. They have gone up, but we're expecting. Because obviously the change we just they, did today will go up in the next uh, budget cycle. Okay. But for the they just they to be the same. So whatever negotiation. Oh, okay. So we still need to negotiate. Right. Okay. 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 Department 15 public works. One change today. Um, that's called the internet service. Uh, that is going up because the internet speed at public works was three megabytes per second. And everything was getting bogged down. And it, it couldn't really function. So uh, we increased that to 100. Yeah. Which is Kind of the bottom tier right now for the right. way packages. Well, the credit card machine runs on Wi Fi, right? Uh, public works. Yeah. yeah. Not not public. I'm thinking of the software. So, what's the total number? So, the total number is 2,580. You'll kick that over to finance and stuff too. Oh, it was here. How did I miss that today? I did all these other ones. Sorry. So a couple things in here and, you know, I start again, it's, I think it falls under the, we're prepping, we're, we're hoping, you know, $20,000 part-time member when we've been doing 5,000, 2,000, so far this year, 1150. $7,000 increase from last year's number. Last year's number doesn't even look like it's justified compared to two previous years. Um, I, 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 I don't support. I mean, it's a, a tremendous, and, I, and Dennis isn't here, but you know, I, I, 
I don't recall one thing. Part time, which um, is yeah. 51010. Is that, what is that, a driver, a secretary, or what is it? It's, it's part time drivers, plow drivers. Okay. Perhaps a phone you said to. And I think support all of it, but we haven't spent 25% of that number in the last 40 years. And to go up $6,200, there's not a demonstrated ability, not the ability, not a demonstrated chance to fill those, but they're not there. It's like, <clears throat> So, what do you recommend, Dave? I mean, obviously, let's get some feedback from Dennis, but I, I won't go any higher than last year for 730. I mean, that's still almost three times more than we've spent at any point over the last three years. Yeah. Would that CDL bump up? Yes. Well, he's not specifically looking for a CDL part time. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Again, and it's maybe maybe I really do have to go because it's been the same stories, right? It's the it's we're going to use these four wheelers. Uh, we're going to hire part time help. I bet we can go back this line in public works through three different part I mean, public works directors, eight different budgets, and we're going to, and it never comes to fruition. And we're just taxing people. Even 13730s are only, we're just taxing people for the sake of it. So I'll go to 13730 for now. I'm not opposed to going lower. That would be my motion. But I'm also, if Dennis comes in and I buy into the story, I can go back. But I don't recall anything that changed my mind on the, on the highlight. And I know it's small. And I know it's not going to make a difference in the, in the rate. But it's, it's all account. at the end of the year, we keep coming up with a million dollars left. Over. And it's this stuff, this kind of stuff here. Uh, I would second your motion with the, that we hear from Dennis. Yeah, and I, I have no, yeah. I'm not. I mean, well, we have, you know, have, the option is you can also just plug a vacancy factor in for this budget as well. And just put these as an offset. Yeah, I mean, if he traditionally has a vacancy rate of 10%, then you can just put 5%. Yeah, let me talk to Dennis because I know, I know uh, we were getting applicants for public works. It's becoming a place where people want to come to. That makes sense. What we're we have to really talk. But, I mean, if it's part time, are they going to be here? No, they're not in the union. That's what I thought. So basically, you can, you can basically pay the market rates based on whatever it takes to get them to the work. I'm just saying, if you needed to hire somebody, you know, would you would you keep escalating your your wage until you could actually get something to get if the existing wage rate was not acceptable? Yeah, right, now, right now we're fully staffed for a full call. Um, I, th I think Dennis is concerned at times. We talked about drivers doing snowstorms. But if we have vacancies, if he needs them, it doesn't mean he's going to hire them, but it's there for him. Um, in the summertime, because our public works personnel don't always. I mean, they have to take vacation time. You right. don't take any in the winter. So you end up in the summer having a lot of work to do. That coupled with lack of private industry either um, being available and doing some of the work, for instance, like last year, when we used our own control to do the work that Crooklyn was supposed to do, mm -hmm. uh, with the sidewalk project down there, yeah. that's where we kind of run out of staffing. So I, I think part of it also is to cover some of that summertime work that you're not been able to do. Typically now, 
the, the labor shortage that we have with, um, with industry such as Kroger and other contractors using this work. And, and that establishes my point is that, you know, if we're below market on the wages, then we're going to get anybody. So it's what do you do on that part time side to get that person in the door? And I, and I don't disagree with any of it, but I think set 13, 7, 30, compared to what we've historically used, allows us to accomplish <coughs> just that, too. Well, that's the other part. You've got the, you've got the money budget. You can do whatever it takes to get someone in the door to do the work. So. You can't get workers still. And even if you're prepping them, you can't get them up. Do we? I know it's been talked about some of the contracts that can fill in. I mean, private contracts. Can we use them at all? They're, uh, just like we saw during the snow season, uh, there's only three or four trucks available at Crooker and the board of the company can work at, you know, if you work in Hobson. Yeah. Uh, but does Matt Hunter or Matt Hunter or people like that plow? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. We have, we have part, he has a list of part time drivers. Oh, okay. He can call. All right. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that, that space as needed. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah. You know, and, and chances are, if there's something that comes up, they're probably doing another job anyway. So. It's just a thought. Uh, unless Del Dennis can tell us different now, if year to date we've used $1,150 and we budgeted $13,730, that's and every year we prior to that. So I have to go with Dave's motion at this time <coughs> until we hear from Dennis. Contracting with you if I didn't go to Bozeman last night because they can't, first of all, they can't buy the pod truck because um, they can't find it. So they can try to contract with people, but there's nobody available to contract with either. Um, except for a couple of older folks who are ready to get out of the industry. And it's getting worse to get, I mean, starting in June, there's a different requirement to get a CDL license. Sure. Sure. Where you just go take the test, so you can test it to get an IMAP to do a sit down course. <clears throat> so, once you, I don't know anything about that industry, but once you get that, then you have to do anything to recertify, or is it just continuing with it? It's basically just keep getting your DOT physical passing it. As long as you can keep passing your, your physical with the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there's, so, there's, there are some qualifications each time, yeah. physical or whatever. Yeah. Well, I think it's, you know, if they start paying five, six dollars a gallon, gallon for oil, you might see people come back on the market. Well, looking for part time oil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, just doing that. I'll have uh, a guys come to the next meeting for it. By the way, I'd see it far before that. You can send us something, write us up something. You know, because we meet next week with the uh, finance committee. Uh, and that's that's not a place to be making any presentations. That's the where you need to make decisions. Okay. I'll get I'll get you a detail email. You know. He wants to videotape himself and record it, send it to him. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and on um, page 13, I think it was. I'm with Matt on the whole where to go with salt. Increase from 80 to 90,000. Um, I'm on it more for the, not that I believe, you know, I think we use it in small storm things. So I just think we are, we're not using that amount. If he needs to go get it, he can go get it. He has that ability. And I'm sorry, the salt and what we're doing to the roads, and how we're destroying our own vehicles by over salting these roads. Because we don't want to sweep at the end of the year. Is we're just we're just spending an extra ten thousand dollars to take it out on our own vehicle. So I think he, I think it can be held at eighty, and he said it. He needs to go get it. He's going to go get it. He's the only one that can do that. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. Without coming back up. Yeah. Yeah, it's just I need it, I need it. Okay. It said during the discussion that I brought this up to Derek the other day. Um, I mean, if, if a 
it's a non-perishable good like salt, um, then we should have a place where we can store it. Thank you. We don't, from what he had said, the facility is in the best condition, I think, to store it right now. So we we'll use salt, I think, in that situation, at least with the, the way it's currently. Is it the state salt? The state? No, we have our own salt ship. Right, I thought. We have our own salt ship. Yeah. We basically, you know, for business, whatever supply you put in there, you get that capacity at the time. Right. You know, so he fills it as, as it starts to end. But it's not falling apart. Is these things falling apart? No, it, I think in, 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 I don't know how many years, but it's years out. What happens is, is that cement shell, oh. that, oh, that yeah. metal roof, Lives on salt gets up there and starts corroding. Oh, yeah. Same salt that's killing our cars. <laughs> We're paying to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a good level, huh? <laughs> so, you know, the argument always is safety. Yeah. yeah. You know, and just, just like the chief mentioned, you know, it's okay. it always boils down to safety. You always prepare for that worst case scenario. Yep. Yeah. So, that's my motion. Keep it as last year's number 80 grand. I think I'll second that, Dave. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> I'm with it. I agree. So we yeah, have a quick trigger on the charge reward. Yeah, I mean, we close eye on the markets. And the, the good thing with Dennis is he does stay on top of that. Um, so we're, we're fortunate in that respect because usually we have to be in trade for us. So what we've done here is negative 16 to 70, but in reality, it's going to shift a little bit more because there's benefit numbers that come out of that part side of the line, whether it be workers' comp and all that stuff. So some others will change, but we're around minus 16 to 70. That was your I guess. Oh, okay. All right. Anyone else have any other lines? No, it doesn't happen. We have needs that one other trip contracts with gas to be delivered. They're coming soon. Right? Yeah. Uh, based, on, <laughs> based on the last month, I don't think there's going to be any adjustments. There. You don't think it'll go up? If it goes up, I'll let you know. That's what I mean. Oh, I mean, we're at $4 a gallon. Is what we're right. I thought you said. Uh, yeah. Good job. But if it goes up any higher, we'll reevaluate it. $4 for diesel or okay. gas. We did it for both. Now, diesel, I in Connecticut, the diesel prices are up to five seventy five a gallon. Now. I think we're like four seventy nine here. I think we did four. So what I'd like to do before the next meeting, just a little bit more time, because all yeah. the pricing, the major ones, happened in the last two weeks. Is, is to get back to. It. Well, the, you know what? This is a good time. You didn't? Did you send anything out? Derek and I talked yesterday, and because of things happening so quick, particularly with market forces and fuel and such. Normally, we hold our public hearing. We had it scheduled for our first meeting in whether it was the first meeting or the second Thursday. We we're April 7th. April 7th, we we're going to do our um, warrant in our public hearing. Talking with them yesterday, and I think the more wiggle room we can give ourselves, and if the board <laughs> agrees with it, I think we would be better off having a public hearing on the 7th for planning items, ordinance items and such, the first, uh, that's the second half of the warrant. But then at our second meeting, and he's checked with Charlie to still get the prior, to get the, the, the thing mailed out on time, and, um, give us a couple more weeks to make sure we're putting forward the right numbers to do the financial numbers, our second meeting. Does that make sense? Putting, it still meets all yeah. the timelines. Um, we don't have to separate them. It would make life a little easier. I don't know. A little more time, I think, to absorb yeah. some of what's going on. Right? Yeah, it's, it's changing so quick and it, it's scary. It'll give us time to take a look at what our state revenue is sharing in the date is going to be. By that mm -hmm. second meeting in April, we'll also you know what the school budget's going to be as well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. Is that as long as it makes sense? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. And just make breaking them up fine with people. Or... <clears throat> yeah. I like spending time with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Solid waste.
Okay, I have a, did anybody read the bulletin today, the legislative bulletin? On purpose? Well, <laughs> I tried to scan. It said one proposal is that solid waste or any recycling, they go up five times. The, government, uh, the state wants to impose on the municipality that, like, if you have a truckload of stuff, it'd be five times more than what towns are charging now, or something like that. What I'm saying is read it. <laughs> and uh, because it is a proposal, but I don't know the exact word. I should have brought it with me, but I didn't. So. Oh, okay. okay, thanks. But I'm just making you aware, if they pass that, what would that do to us? Be sure this will move the bill that they're put forward that when it's going to put tax on uh, uh, packagers and manufacturers. It didn't products. say that. It said okay. municipal or uh, landfills and municipal recycling. So I mean the plan is a big, big landfill up north right now. So like there's some stuff the legislature is already trying yeah. to get people to stop. Putting stuff there, especially from out of state. Right. Uh, Which one is that? The one I yeah, I think so. Yeah. But everybody's yeah. been dumping there. But Tom Sawyer. Yeah. It isn't just that. So if you read it and it comes to uh, to be, then we've got to really look at it. So I just saw that throw that in there. I don't well, know it's a horrible else. piece of information, really. Sorry. You love me, don't you? <laughs> but I have nothing with this but I don't either. Yeah. A great old school sled. I don't know if you yeah, I just that. saw that yeah. last weekend. Ancient. That is yeah. amazing. Boys like, what is that? That's what a sled was. Man. All right. Got trash. What was yeah, there was a civil vehicles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we are on to 15, the police. I forget your wording again, Roland, but again, this is, it's the constant out in this department by nobody's fault. Um, uh, vacancy factor. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. And vacancy factor combined with Matt talking today in the email, of, we've got to get creative, we've got to start thinking. This one and the next one to me is where some of those we love those play. I mean, it'd be interesting to look over like a five or six year period just to see the variance between the budget and what the actual expenditure was. Just to see five percentage basis. Yeah, we could do that. I, I think the only issue is what are we really going to get out of it? Only because of the certain factors that we've experienced, at least since I've been here. From from our patrol officers being very much underpaid compared to you know, regional agencies. And right. we, you, we addressed that in that prior contract with the patrol officer one. We saw some benefit, then we had quite a bit of turnover for various reasons. Um, this is a reason that we get new leadership. <coughs> uh, we've also talked about uh, we have a Possibly take a look at uh, you know, where we probably need to put assets or reallocate assets. Mm -hmm. to okay, I mean, that, that's fine. Just, it, but there's, you know, the hardest thing just need to see if, if the trend continues the next couple of years or not. Because Absolutely. I mean, it's like, you know, pretty sizable amount of shoes and stuff in the field. You know, and, and we dealt with a couple of things too. Right? We have heard this before. COVID hit us a bit, and the academy had to. To figure out ways to get people in. Right. Um, getting better. Um, is that more applicants, I think, in the last year and a half than I had my first year and a half here? Um, but over time, because of some of the circumstances, that has just killed us this year. Yeah, sure. Um, and really, there's nothing we can do about it. No. And so, I think what, what you're seeing here is if the trend does continue, which we're going to have to address. Well, that he didn't want to cut the overtime line. Yeah, well, I don't think that yeah, you can. I think we need to train robots, get police robots. 
and just have an oil can every once in a while and do a, a self-driving cars. <laughs> I know I'm being funny, but it's just so difficult on our chiefs and on the town and everything to and, and, maintain. And, and our officers are in real life stress. Yes, you they take, are. You take a look at the past year for all of public safety. Yeah. You know, but since we're talking about the police department, and you say what great things about our Minneapolis fire department, but um, the types of accidents that they've seen, the types of calls that they've been on there, uh, being short staffed uh, is is had a tremendous impact on all. Sure it does. Yeah. Um, so, is better. there is there any risk at all us just having continuous posting out there? Because you know, this is statistically, you're going to have vacancy every one, two, three months. That's what the state does. Do, Mark, do, do we have any vacancies right now? Um, we've got one right now. We were full in October for a couple of weeks. <laughs> no, that's the thing. It's like, you know, just how often are you fully staffed once? Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, you yeah. can really justify just keep running an ad. Well, I just turned I mean, the gun back on, Mark. Yeah. Oh, good. We haven't yeah. need be. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this isn't including the one position that we have on the side, right? Right. right. Okay. So we have one just outside of that one. Correct. Okay. Yeah, this is one you close the window a little bit if you had a pool coming through here. We actually do better at being municipal when we periodically post because you get bumped down on the thing on the one of our better places is the main municipal website. Yeah. And then Portland comes on on a Friday and does 10 things and everyone goes to Friday. Yeah. So yeah. same thing for Indeed. You kind of because we don't usually do the paid Indeed because it's getting really expensive to do it. So when we're new, you kind of are bumped up a little more. But then if you sit out there for six months, you kind of forgot about it. Well, I don't know. It just it seems to me like if you can you know, cut the recruitment window down a little bit, you'd be better off. Good idea. I think there needs to be a mindset change that this is not a we problem and continuously giving what we are going through and what we're struggling with. This is an industry problem. <clears throat> this is, it doesn't matter the community in Maine. They're having you know, nationwide. It's not Maine, it's nationwide. So we need to stop thinking we're going to cure this. We're not going to cure this. It's beyond the town of Thompson. It's beyond the taxpayers of Thompson. In my opinion, that we're going to be able to cure this. This is far reaching for many, many different reasons. And if we continue to think, all right, if we just, oh, we might get to full, full speed if, because we've got this next idea, this next program. And, and we won't have this in front of us any longer. It's not. It's it's an ongoing, not going away issue. So I think there needs to be, we need to come to grasp and to come to grips with it. And, and it's nobody's fault. And that may be the hardest part of it. Is everybody, in order to sit there and say, we can't do this, we can't fix it, we can't win, you've got to accept defeat. And unfortunately, it's not your fault in this case. It is industry and it is a whole lot of other factors it's not individuals that are failing no it is mm -hmm. so the more we keep saying this year after year is the more we're never going to correct correct this issue so to the extent we know what the average attrition rate is and our attrition rate is either at or less than that then i think you're right I think, you know we were at higher attrition than the average then you'd have to have a question what's going on mm -hmm. and, but i don't think that's the case it's not the case. It's it's all the negative part. It, it's they don't want to risk anymore so much. It's very risky. It's always been risky to be a police officer, but it's even more so right now. The other day is an example of that. And um, if you're a family person, and it's all the negativity around policemen. It's not a popular to be one. No, it's not too weak. You know, uh, but, but again, oh, yeah, so I, I addressed this before. Um, but that's a weed problem, it's that's that, that, that's a weed, right? It it's is, not a that's just it's not an industry problem. It, it, I know, I mean, we've been doing this a hundred times, and I'm not blaming you, Derek. I'm not blaming Mark by any means. No, not at all. Th that Mark, we are, <laughs> but the other one, we're not. Blaming. Um, <laughs>
it, it's, I know we want to fix it. I, I for forever, I stood up, I raised my hand, I voted at the town meeting, let's give more, let's do this. Man, I just haven't seen a woman. But I think. And now all we're doing is, <laughs> uh, we, it's going to be a mind Actually, I think Derek shaped up and tried harder than, what? and he's got more people. He's got a better facility over there. He's got, I was here a long time and I saw a lot, and a lot went on. And, um, and I'm really pleased with that. And I'm sorry that we can't keep it full, but it is the times. It's not, certainly not Eric's fault or Mark's. The good news is we're not one of the towns with a four or five minute place. No. A lot of those now, they're down to like two. And yeah. they're barely surviving and stuff. Right. So it could be worse. Oh yeah. And it might get better. Not now. With with this particular part, my my only ask is, is that we we move forward with this fiscal year coming yeah. up, mm -hmm. and it's going to be some time so we can kind of buy a little strategy. We have not been able to get to the point where we can see where we are in some respects. I agree with you on that. All right, Eric. Next year when I'm right, you better have something right. <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I have nothing in there other than my soapbox. Everyone done with it? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, I didn't even hear a groan. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, we'll go on. EMS Fire, page 17. And I guess I probably wish I would have gone with this with the chief. Again, this is, you know, I'm looking at the way the number for the overtime is jumped $42,075,000. And Matt, I'm reminded of what you said. We got to start looking differently, right? We got to start looking where can we figure things out? What can we do? And is there a schedule change that can be made? What can happen? That is a significant number. And I don't know if it's we're trying to drive this up in order to say eventually, hey, we're already spending $90,000 in overtime. If I can have two extra people, that'll go down. Because that's how this works. Don't. don't don't think I don't know what's going on, but um, I think we've been building that staff though. But and look how it affects the, the benefits. But I think again this year we should go probably go with it. I think I think it's time for somebody to do some investigating. Thank you, Gasly. Okay. No resistance to that. Wait, no. Okay. Hey, Dave, I kind of like that idea about moving in shifts. And I don't know what it is. You know, what is the driver? He, I have no experience big, there, but you do. But that's a big number. Something's gone on where we've already this year spent, outspent the two previous years, and we're well on our way now. Something can something be done. We're gonna have to have a detailed email for you because right. we have taken a look with Chris and Kathy to make sure that the funds are coming from the appropriate lines. Um, not seeing that has happened, but my speculation is that some of the overtime is gone from other lines. Okay. For the call. And so yeah. I'm trying to get it where it needs to be. Okay. So if that's a reflection, I'd get it. But if we have, if we truly have this happening this quick, well, there needs to be something. I think it's come from other. other yeah. Ways. Okay. Yeah. And we saw it's some big numbers. You know, we're still talking fifty thousand dollars in the entire year. Now, now, the one thing here is the increase in our on call per diem mm -hmm. uh, for two dollars an hour uh, because of the survey. Yeah, my question about so that's part of it.
So with that, Eric, you're going to look at that line and see if it's allocated right. I'm pretty sure that that's, that's right. Yeah, we had discussions about yeah. it mm -hmm. six months ago. Um, yeah. If it's different than that, I'll let you know. Yeah, I know. I got to look into the OT line. Matt, I didn't even notice that you just said that it was gasoline line. Are you looking at it as a massive increase compared to anywhere else? Because that just caught my attention when you said that. It is a large increase, but they also drive really big vehicles over there. Yeah, okay. but they're not gas. Um, they might be, I think it was a, a, a swap for a diesel for gas. Maybe the ambulance. But, but that's been constantly with that. Yeah, I think the new ambulance is it. Yeah. Yeah, it's gas. So if if funding was being drawn from other categories like payroll or full time or whatever for that overtime, would that mean or wouldn't that mean that the actual for the last year would be higher than what it is currently, like one thirty four sixty nine? Like if that would add up top of that. I'm going to check that. All right, cool. Now, session, I'm good. Uh, page 19, Parks and Rec. I question the next page, general plus $3,000. General. Uh, general in parks and rec is three thousand dollar increase. Hmm? Well, Derek's department has yeah, chimed in. <laughs> They're all texting me. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Why'd you hit me right now? Yeah, I'm going to back that way. I remember Pam presenting it. I don't know what they did, but sorry. I was just trying to see. Yeah. Why do you question that, Matt? <laughs> I do actually, because I, I think I remember thinking that same thing when I first read this, but then Pam, I think, is satisfied. Yeah, we did the right question. No, yeah. She, she, yeah. She what? There's an answer for it. Yeah. What was that answer? Something might have got moved into it. You have a PowerPoint presentation? Was, was, was it a trading or something, Derek, or some sort? Of yeah, let me, let me look it up on the PowerPoint. Because general could cover a lot of things. Yeah, there's already been money in there. Yeah, in training, I thought they stole somewhere else. And if it's because it's other programs, right? So it wouldn't come under training and stuff. In theory, that should show up in revenue. It's under programs. That's the You're at 229 per gallon. Yeah, it's only three Saturdays towards the end of October. It would show in there. Oh, that's so. No, you guys lose electricity a lot on that end of town. Uh, uh, <laughs> the general program for $3,000 is an increase in programs being offered at the different levels. Uh, revenue increase will offset that. I'm assuming it's programs for different age groups. Mm -hmm. 
but okay. For some of the things that she has. But well, shouldn't we say that? It's the general. I mean, I don't know. What somewhere there should be a list. I agree with you of what yeah. it is. You know, they're offering a mountain biking class now, and that's not a kind of, it probably falls into this stuff. I just like to know. I but a layout. Thank you back there. Okay, I'll send you more. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Library, page 21. We had two changes that come today. Um, the HRA, we now put in 2200. And then fuel change from 15,000 to 16,000. Eric, what was that? What was what drove it that thousand dollars on the e uh, We look at the terms that were being used mm -hmm. with each of the accounts. And Kathy's been updating as we go. Okay. Because um, it looks like actual well. usage years past was pretty low and they only moved by a thousand. Interesting. So we have a meeting with the library on the 21st, 21st to discuss. Um, the Mondays. So, whatever we do here or now or then is after reconciliation, before, right? You know, this is before reconciliation is before our actual meeting. Um, we, but it is before our hearing. So, when it comes to the public hearing, if we had to make a change. So those are things to think about before we talk about what we want. Uh, Derek, I didn't include you on this today, but I know you have to you now reply back, but I asked Susan for, I have to send it to you, I just forgot you. I asked Susan prior to our meeting on the 21st to three years ago, she gave us how they arrived at $20,000 for Mondays, I asked her to provide costs of Mondays for next year, because I'm sure four years later now, it's not $20,000. Can I get some opinions on how you want to approach this, knowing that we're in this flux? It's 40000 684.96 is what they were sponsoring before out of their own funds, right? 20000 Right, twenty thousand. Okay, and how much would that? The forty thousand is the increase this year for full time payroll. But that has nothing. That would have already Mondays are already built into full time payroll. It's a right. Right. it's a revenue. The twenty thousand is the revenue issue. Okay. Right now they're not paying. They're in the budget here. They propose to pay nothing for Mondays. But it's not just, it's also, if we do that in payroll, we've got to add all that in too, right? It's already in there. Okay, it's already in there. All right. All right. Well. I it's hard to take stuff away. <laughs> no, it, but the, maybe the discussion needs to be how much you're continuing to pay. Right. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying closing down the Monday. That hasn't even crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. It's how are we going to de-escalate this? You know, are we going to work our way back from twenty to some other number? Um, because Mondays are not worth twenty thousand dollars anymore, right? This, we're approaching year four, so I don't know what the number is, but I know it's more than twenty thousand dollars for Mondays. Do they still have that person in the fundraising position working there? Mm, I thought they left. I just wasn't sure if that position was still budgeted or occupied. Because, yeah, they were supposed to pay for themselves, basically. Right. Gosh, I thought the person ended up leaving. Um, yeah, he left, and I don't think it got rehired. 
Okay. I think because he lived, I think on Elm Street, and I remember him moving. Okay. And I don't think they rehired that slot. I think it was that's when the round table. I think that round table is still going that business, but I don't know as it's as strong as it was in the beginning. I mean, I haven't heard much about it. Right. Years. Right. It was oh, right. It started strong. <clears throat> I could have heard it was COVID. I thought. Based on their website, there's no one very good person listed. Mm -hmm. So do they have that money in the budget? Um, I Yeah, I have. So we think it will cost more than twenty thousand. We think it will probably cost thirty thousand. I think year one costs year two costs more than twenty thousand. Yeah. Right. So because that twenty thousand was year one. So what is the Real figure we're looking at. So is that <clears throat> I asked her today to yeah. provide that. Yeah. Um, I, I think because I'm not looking at saying Monday's going to go. That's oh, not. No. It's not no. in my. It's here. It's yeah. not in my thought yeah. process. My thought process is discussions about revenue. About how much they're going to contribute. So right. what I want to know. So yeah. what's their plan to raise it to? I think everything else already is spoken for. Well, I think they like before this came from um, that bequeath, right? That lady that bequeathed that large sum, right? And they were going to try it for three years, they were going to pay it, then we were going to discuss it to see where we go from there. But there's never been a discussion, and it makes it very difficult to know what amount of money we're looking at. We could be looking at $60,000. So what I need to know, which is here, their total, total, absolute income, that's through in the endowments, that's through all that stuff, and what they can contribute. I thought she gave, like, because the finance committee always asks for that. I thought right. she gave that to us of what their. She gave the total, right? We sent that out of our The total, yeah. I just want to know the sources and the amounts. My only, my, my only thing is talking about money and how it's going to be. Right. And we need to reach an agreement. Well, let me ask the board this. Are we prepared to fund forty or $50,000 for a Monday and the benefits on top of that? And I'm with everybody else. I don't want to see it not happen on Monday. Because we've got it. It's like when you give something, try to take it away. And if it's working, the people are using it on Monday. So I think waiting for that actual, um, I'm just trying to put it in perspective here. Um, if it is costing like $40,000 a year for Monday, right? Um, then we put that excess over 20 back on them. And just take the twenty thousand dollar hit, right? And, but and if but if it's around twenty or whatever, then I think we talk to them about. Uh, so yeah, we'll be. Yeah, I've discussion. never thought it was going to be forty fifty thousand dollars. I'm expecting we'll hear a number. So if it was twenty thousand three years ago, I'm expecting twenty four twenty five. That's my thought, right? Yeah. Average normal raises, benefit changes. I, I don't think they're changing the hour. I mean, I think it's just that stuff, which are probably significant, right? I mean, that, they all add several thousand dollars, but I, I wouldn't even believe they would get third. I would be surprised if they did. But if they add people and change it in that manner, well, that's a whole different note, right? If they if they normally run the day with three people and they decide we need a fit for fit, okay. Because they, they went very slow on Mondays. That was the proposal. We'll have two people on due, two, three, whatever the number was. They were going to go yeah. very small opening. They went in five to six days. So, in fact, you basically went up 18%. Mm -hmm. So, it I think if your budget, I think the variable components of payroll and heat and lights, take 18% of that, that's what it's costing you. Yeah. But they were running less hours, I think. I think they were running like a 10 to 4, maybe, or something. That's through the test. But we don't know any of the end result because nobody had a conversation with us. 
So when I think your point about whether or not the position is still in here, which it probably is, I imagine. Um, I mean, that could be a pretty right sizable amount. Yeah. 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 That's probably part here. Yeah. That Level hundred sets, plus. Yeah. I just look at that slide. It's like that accountant told me once when I owned a general store. He said he was doing all my books and he said, Now, Ruth, pretend I'm your priest and tell me everything. Mm. <laughs> That's the way I feel about the Well, that guy gets fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gone. He was gone. <laughs> I will say, I'll just come out and say it. I am not prepared to change. Not looking to change anything on page 11. If, 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 so, if we find out there's another position in there, that's a whole different conversation. Yeah, right. Mine is all about the revenue. Page 21. 21, yes. That seems like, it's like <laughs> wait a minute, we're going backwards. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not, if people want to, I'll listen, I'll entertain. Coming into tonight, I had no, yeah. no in, intent on changing anything within their budget. Taking away Monday or anything like that. All my discussions are centered around centered around the women. It's be transparent. Yeah. When you think seven thousand Derek is proper for electricity, seven thousand dollar increase. Yeah, it might be all, seven grand at my house. Yeah, all the utilities. I know. You can look yeah. at it. Sometimes. <laughs> And so fluctuating. So Dave, the only the only utility that I know is constantly is sewer. Right. Yeah. And I got a pretty good handle on a lot because of Kevin. Yeah. Um, so you were saying stay with the forty thousand six eighty four for the library and that table and and. I'm not saying do it. I'm no. saying my intention. I didn't have any intention of cutting people, doing anything. I didn't ask questions about what their staff and stuff. My question is the twenty thousand dollar revenue line for Monday's yeah. position. Yeah. Where do we want to try to settle? And I don't want to settle that to me, but we can't. <laughs> we could, but I've got no time to do good. Take five hundred ten bucks from my barn. <laughs> Just showing me. <laughs> GA page twenty three. That is what it is. Contractual mm -hmm. services. I feel like I've missed something. Maybe I'll... Yeah. We're paying lawyers. We got too much for lawyers. Um, contractual services. So, professional services, that's, we, we know that. We know that. Okay, legal services. Um, our actuals this year, uh, now with legal, you never know what's happening. Yeah. Because we're going to litigation, we're going to do something outside the ordinary. It takes a lot of time. It's expensive. Um, in the last two years, we've done really well for several reasons. Uh, one, Mark's taken the lead on a lot of this. Uh, our time with the attorneys is very succinct. The email or short conversations, which has helped us out quite a bit. Um, this year coming up, what, we, what I did with legal services is take the 50 grand that we had budgeted the last two years. I took five out of that specific to the charge session and the legal fees that may come up. Um, it's, I hate to say it, there's somewhat of a safety that we can quickly go through that money pretty fast. We did two years ago. What's your, what's your hourly rate right now? Uh, it ranges depending on right. what we're using, but up to 325 an hour. You know, you get something good, it's 10 hours right there, it's pretty quick. Yeah. 
but we're doing a better job, I think, the following year after the charter push is over and negotiations. We, we can take a, a, a hard look at that and see what our actions will be next year. But it, it's just one of those things if something comes up or two or right. three things, yeah, you can do that. Like the water tower. Right. And like within that. this department specifically, we run over, there's not much to, to like kind of a, and that some department, nothing we can grab from. Um, Everything else in that department is pretty much to the um, as close to the tank as possible, except for the one. The only thing I question is the wellness, as we've spent 476.62. Yeah, you know, uh, that, that's that's true. Yeah. Um, the one thing that we, one of the things we wanted to do, but we got hit with COVID and a few other things, is, is establish somewhat of a robust wellness program. Uh, we've talked about it multiple times program that would look at physical health, you know, mental health, and financial health for our employees. Um, but uh, we haven't really quite got that off the ground yet. Well, <clears throat> are you comfortable with 2000? Mm -hmm. Or 1500? That would be fine. We haven't officially said that. It's nickel and diamond, but it all adds up into the past. There's things that come up too. I mean, there's. Uh, yeah. What we take out of there as well is um, employee and eat where more condolences uh, or gift baskets for <laughs> not a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. But again, that, uh, that's that's where we've taken some of that from. We have a recognition one. We do. I don't know how anybody else feels. I just. The recognition services. Sure, do we deal with our insurance providers? Uh, if our employees you know, go through like a survey at the end of the year or whatever, um, or like a survey and then they give their like blood pressure and stuff like that, does that increase their uh, our, our insurance? Um, we, we haven't done that. No. I, think, I mean, if you establish a wellness program, I think that's one of the things that you can do. Yes, that's true. Oh, yeah. 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 And the, the state has, has funding opportunities, like you mentioned. Yeah. Um, and then we they, took advantage of before. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. But like I said, the last couple of years have been really tough. Right. Um, like if we have things, we'd have people coming in to uh, things for dietary stuff or you know, or other things that we would have a group of people in there for. That happened in my first year here. Um, but we've been able to do them. I've been able to do that. Now, does MMA still come? Yeah, I don't think this much. They haven't yet. Under the wellness program, and they do. I remember they used to, and people like EMS used to do the sugar check. They could do the um, the blood pressure check. They used to do that from over there. Nobody's opened up yet. Some people are still remote. Um, okay. So I, I think right now can we have it? I, I'd like to leave it and see where it goes. It's, it's 2000. Okay. Um, if you want to drop it to 1500, I think that'd be fine. Okay. 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 Okay.
<laughs> so much for Tofu Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> I can see I can scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't be bringing people in here that tell you not to bring candy. <laughs> Good word. Let me close down the smoking in the back. <laughs> uh, where are we? 25 capital. The only, I mean, I'll be, I don't know. I think it, we got enough, but 55 grand on the vehicle, the fire vehicle equipment capital. Keep change it to $100,000 loan. That's my motion. Second. Motion second. All those in favor. Yep. 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 The new K. We do 75,000, 100,000, something on capital replacement there, or do you have real stuff for you? Um, I, I'd like to keep that there if possible. Um, you know, you can take that back. That's that line. I know what it is. Yeah. If it was just going to sit, happens, yeah. But if it was just going to sit there and we we're just building a fund, I would say there are some items that are going to the policy stuff, but I, I haven't looked to change the policy yet. Because yeah. what I'd like to do is eventually add to high price equipment that affect operations. Mm -hmm. so that's my idea. Add later. Yeah. That's fine. I just don't want to be building a fund. But but what's good about this is is in the event that we get down the future and we have a roof replacement. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollars on the tax bill or HVAC bill. The generator is getting older now. Yeah. We don't have a generator for this building. No. Not to say that that's a replacement, but it's, it's possibly something that could be done. This doesn't bring people to work anymore, and they contemplate they don't need a check. Flooring, anymore. flooring systems uh, is in the policy as well. So all major flooring, uh, the garage bay over in the uh, public safety building is going to need to be. Resurface probably the next two years. Mm -hmm. uh, all the carpeting in this building, for instance, is one. You know, nothing's been replaced since 2007. It doesn't need it, right? But um, that's what you know, to think about this this line. Part of my carbon says love. Too. I was just gonna Bye. say, can we make sure the next one doesn't have love written? <laughs> but um, if it comes down to it, I mean, that'd be something obviously that uh, wouldn't impact us all that much right now. Right. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was just thinking if there was 400 grand sitting somewhere, maybe we could. If this was just adding to the pile. The blood hill ain't going to be fixing the carpet this year. No, so I mean, that's something. I know. Oh, you're not going to offer another thing, are you? <laughs> <laughs> So do we have anything? Does anyone have anything else within this? I'm done. I'm done. Was um so that solid waste loader stays or was that moved up? No, the solid waste loader remember. stays. What we did, the difference is because it's not highlighted in the budget the right. presentation, is the 565,000 for public works. The change that I had was I had a truck in there. Yeah. Dennis wanted to bring up the loader instead okay. of the truck. It was a the same this was, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Two loaders. Okay. Yeah, I asked that question the other day, but it's a tire number. Tires. The tires are really heavy duty ones. They dump. We need them. Not in full. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they transfer the hard rubber. Right. Yeah. Just a hard rubber. What you need. Street lights, traffic signals, hydrogen rentals, page 26. Um, traffic signals and maintenance, I have an arrow. Did we raise that to 32? We did. That was dumb. Not much you're going to do here. It would be wonderful if that street light number will take up on that. Give us another carryover about over tax time next year. I called the uh, water district last week. Uh, I know. Just to verify that number. <laughs> I still haven't gotten an answer back. <laughs> Her words were, I don't know how I could make it any more clear than my email. She did. <laughs> I just wanted to verify. She's going to kill me. Still say anything. I think we're covered. <laughs> <laughs> Probably sitting. 
We have no attendees right now. Oh, good. <laughs> Might be a replay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're good to start. 26 is okay. 27. Yeah. 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 28. Debt service. Um, I don't think there's anything to do tonight. We've kind of got a thought process put in. Oh, maybe he's going to talk. No, I'm back in uh, page 28. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the Okay. Uh, the Okay. 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 Like, oh, I, I figured there was nothing we could do about it, so I just kept running. That service, I know we had a workshop. There's no, there's, we're still waiting, right? We have to wait and see what the school does, the county does. Um, right right really now, what we have in this budget is we're paying off the last year. The, the BNY Mill, which was the, the bond for the municipal complex, <coughs> was in this budget. It was fiscal year 23. Actually, all of our bonds are fiscal year 23. And the payoff of our sidewalk municipal complex form saving fund, which is a smaller uh, bond of 155000 ish. And the last payment of the big bond at the end of our million dollar for fiscal year 26. <coughs> what's so that that's what's in this budget. We had talked about paying off all of the BNY initially in the, in the budget, budget presentation. When the school came in super low, we were going to do that, right? Right. Um, that was a talk. And then because it wasn't presented, I don't want to do too many options. Um, to figure it out. Maybe we do something in between pay off this year 25 and 26. That can still be talked about. So, so where are we on it? I mean, that's what I was thinking tonight. We talk about trying to make a decision. Um, you want to go through the rest of this and then <coughs> hold it back to this? No, let's do it now. Okay. Oh. Sorry. I don't want to go back. I want to see I'm done and run. <laughs> what would you drink before you came? It, it's hard to predict because it's something that we just don't know. Right. Right. Because we have the county budget, we have the school budget, and I haven't in, implemented some of the changes in there tonight. Um, but I will tell you very, very preliminary. That if we kept the fund balance, if everything remains the same outside of these changes here, keep the fund balance at 17% where we want to be. The increase in the tax rate will be less than 4% of 3.89. Of course, that's going to vary because there's going to be some changes here. That does present. I think if I had an idea of where the board wants us to be for the potential tax rate increase. Now, again, we have to see if there's any changes to our valuation. Um, there's different factors involved. Right. Where do we want to be? And I can try to make the numbers work. And part of that will be as well is to how much of that fund balance is going to towards operational expenditures and cost. We talked about the fact that. Like Dave wanted to be all in. We talked number two and we talked number three. And at the time, I thought when we talked that number two was the most logical to do. 
All right. It wasn't the most logical at the most moments. Right. Because my thought was good. <laughs> so that we all and, have their own certain <laughs> <laughs> well, on that, we said the 17% of the, of the fund balance. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that amount anymore. Well, we have how many millions of dollars we have every year? Mm -hmm. 16 million? What is it? I mean, yeah. Oh, our fund balance, our unassigned fund balance for the last audit report, which was fiscal year 20, was uh, the unassigned fund balance was $6.87 million. Okay. Now, it all depends what our appropriations are. Right. But that policy to 16.7 or whatever it is. That's that's what the number I need to know where we want to be. Then that remainder is call it surplus or call it monies above the select like board policy for fund balance. The auditors had recommended a certain amount that we keep. Um no, the, the auditors basically just say we have a very healthy fund balance according to right. our fiscal year 20 audit right. it was over 30 percent. And I tend to agree that if everything Went to H in a basket. <clears throat> How long would that fund balance keep us running? Oh, so uh, two months has been kind of the standard. So that's 16.7. Yeah. If you look at like the uh, ICMA and the in some other organizations, 16.7 is kind of the standard practice. Right. Uh, but, you know, what is it? I mean, if we go down to 12%. Um, you know, you're probably talking about six weeks. But the bottom line is, is you would halt all capital expenditures and everything else. You just pay people. So you're going to get through there. And especially if we talked about this year, um, if we went down and brought the, you know, that growth point where we're kind of wondering how things are going to turn out, we don't have to expend. We're in, in our real estate tax receipts, our tax receipts, and right, right. Are, um, are still going to come in right. for the most part and get us through the number. They yeah, have yes. figure it out. Right. Yeah. Um, so I don't see. It, any I'm real just hard asking the question. Right. But, you know, a difference of 4% is only going to be a couple of weeks. Right. That's what I think. Yeah. If you were to spend your money, right, so right. Before so, you use to pay the school, pay the so you're gonna get it going down, right? I mean, if it makes sense, if, I mean, if we get a better idea of the school, I mean, it yeah. would be crunch for time over it. But uh, I'd like to just come back and say, okay, you know, if we were to pay off an additional year on that big bond, this is what it's gonna look like. I just don't know yet. I thought I had a better idea after last night, but not if everything's still up in there and potentially $20. Yeah, there are a lot of variables. Yeah. But what I will say is, is what's in the budget right now to pay off that last year and remember that small bond that's callable, I think we're pretty good. Yeah. Um, if we want to go that additional year, I don't think it'd be. Too bad. That's my personal opinion based on what I'm seeing. Um, but I like to wait about another few weeks. Yeah. Like time. Right. I do too. I think it's. I just wanted to hear. Um, and truly, I'm in favor of the number two option on the bonds at the moment. The only thing that will give me pause on my all in, I'm still all in, and I get why yeah. we're waiting. And I, I'm not looking to change anyone's mind. I am the only pause would be going from 16 down to 12. Is if eight weeks from now, whenever we decide we're going to do LED streetlights and we have an opportunity to, you know, it's going to cost us 150 grand up front to save. A lot. Huge amounts of money. Right. Um, I want to have the ability to 
have that money, even if we had to call a special town meeting to be able to say, hey, we have we can change our policy, we can pull out this <clears throat> out of our yeah. reserve account. So that's that's the only you know I'm yeah. wondering where to get the fund balance policy is your policy. Yeah, right. It is. We just change it before we because if we had to go pull money, that would be an easy place to do it. Are we applying for a grant for that one? For the like um we're doing the grant for the municipal oh, parking lot. Yes. I'm not being give you an update next day. So, <clears throat> so um, we hold off, is what you're saying. I, I would like to just probably <laughs> have more information on the school right. and the and county, for sure. Um so right now I got a plan the way the way we have a plan. Yeah. Um we can I'll then take a look at a paying that fiscal year 25 payment off for that big bond. And we only get 24 remaining. Um and if you just want to go all in, um, we do that. If you went all in, you free up, I shouldn't say free up, you know, set up some flexibility of you know seven hundred some odd thousand dollars uh in fiscal year 24. That maybe you just cut back on capital. I mean our CIP, I was looking at that earlier. We've got 11 ATVs. Um <laughs> UTV. UTV, sorry. I'll couple up on it. <laughs> pay now or pay later. Right. It's not so being canceled. It's gonna be paid. That's correct. <laughs> You know, the other scary part is we keep throwing, uh, oh, uh, you got 1.1 or 1.2 <clears> to <throat> the schools and these buses. These buses aren't a million dollars. They're talking nine buses. They're talking 1.6, mm -hmm. you know, or even more because there's there's a few that want to push for the propane or hydrogen that you're into the upper tubes, I think, is what I saw in one of their presentations. <coughs> I don't so, have that allocation this week. <coughs> what's that? I'm going to that possibility for it. Good. I mean, they're, they're expensive. They're not hundred thousand dollar vehicles. We could be talking instead of that two million. You think it could be like two six? We pay extra seven that forty four percent. A lot. And the numbers they had last night. We're going to talk about <laughs> Yeah, you know, based on what they have. Right now. Well, yeah, right now. yeah. They didn't tell us we were rolling that by ten, so that's the well. Yeah, that's for the using actual. So weird today. Because I'm sure sometimes we're going faster than others. Oh my gosh, the kids. Okay. So we wait. So right now we're. We're good with that last bond payment. Yes. Smaller yeah. bond, smaller bond. So what, what we do with fiscal year 24 and 25 on the big bond. Right. So that is all expense. Uh, to do. No one wants it. There's nothing talks with community funds. We're not looking at it anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, in that fund, we have approximately $75,000 the community center. And the fed Sorry, that's $45,000. I think the community center momentum is not very running. <laughs> well, that was running right now. I mean, yeah. We're going to be walking <laughs> all of us out. It's only 2.5 miles from my house to get here, <laughs> and it's going to be daylight. That's a new wellness program. Yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be daylight like till yeah. eight, so I'll have to leave early. Um, what, what I can do is I can send you a year to year as I make these changes that'll give you what the top line number should be. Mm -hmm. Highlight in yellow, so you don't have to go out of yellow. Yeah. And if you'd add the column for the percentage change to it, you want know, percentage that way, that cash difference. Well, both. If you could do that, okay. Because if it's a difference, right into the front here, and let's yep. tell us to the top down. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.
I don't think I included it here. I didn't even want to read it before because I couldn't get anything crunched up. Yeah, I know. But I just think it would be good for school. I'll send that out tomorrow for everybody. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I'm paying attention to right now, although it will be necessarily reflected in here or in the room, right now, is, uh, is excise tax revenue. Well, I made my contribution this week. I'm <laughs> done for me. Yeah, mine's coming right up. A little bit below what we thought. We oh, and there's no vehicles. You can't get revenue. Yeah, well, yeah, the thing is, well, it's all based on MSRP anyway, so right for the matter. Yeah, he's definitely should have booked I was gonna say, that might be 2013, right? Uh, yeah, you could well, say yeah, I started right. last night, but he, I had total my car, they paid me 50 percent of the original price, which is insane. It should be like 10 percent. That's not bad at all, yeah. No, huh? always, yeah, because what they charge for these cars, you can transfer your. How much was left on your smashed up car? Oh. Actually, what my Buick got told was my 94 Buick Skylark like four years ago. Skylark. They gave me five grand for it, which you could never yeah. find in the market. No. It's gone. I had like a, yeah. I don't know how I, I was they, changed, 